today we will be going over the sports suite and wirecast integration so first step you want to go to our website sportscast.net once you get there you'll see in the top right you'll have a button for sports suite login when you click that it should take you there right here you'll have a login I'm already logged in so I'm gonna go over to my next tab so you're gonna to want to click on the sports designer here to get to the sports designer after logging in so once you're in the sports designer I already have an image here you want to go to bot select select the bot you want to use most people only have one or two I have a bunch so after you select the bot you should see data populate if your bot is online and receiving data then you're gonna to want to go to the upload image button hit browse and then find an image that you created we created this one in Photoshop so that's what we're gonna be using today now let's show how to build the overlay first you will just click on the data you want to bring over so like I'm gonna bring over clock so I click on it and now I can drag and drop it wherever I want so let's make it a little bit bigger I want to make it about this big let's make it yellow because yellow looks nice on a black background okay now let's do down and distance it's a little bit bigger because it copied the font size from the last one I just did so let's make it about right there let's make this a different color let's make this white you can change the font as well here underneath the font tab there's a few fo selected fonts next we're going to drag over the quarter I believe the quarter should be further down on the list uh, quarter text there we go so let's drag that over here let's make that a little bit bigger just so it pops out a little bit more let's make it a different color as well so you can distinguish between the two all right so now let's grab over our team names so first we're going to take over the visitor team Georgia let's make it pretty big so it fits nice in there let's make it black so it looks nice on the white background let's bring in the visitor score put right about there very very easy to use as you can see I, I'm doing this pretty effortlessly so let's bring in the home team now which should be right here let's bring in the home score now so there we have home score away score time down and distance and quarter all on the overlay so once you have the overlay how you want it, you're going to want to go over here to the uh, save as. We're going to be naming this uh, Wirecast test. Um, this will where you'll be able to select a delay. Um, some people use delays for broadcasting if they run like a radio station. Um, the channel is only for virtual bots. Um, but I'm going to use the bot I'm currently connected to, bot 20. If you want to use a different one, you'll select here. So you'll hit submit. I already have one that's Wirecast S. So as you can see, if you have a project with the same name, it'll give you this error message. So it finished, and now it gave me a link right here. If I click this link, as you'll see, it'll take you to a separate web browser where it'll show you your, your live overlay. So we're gonna wanna copy and paste this link up here. And then we're gonna go into Wirecast. So here's my Wirecast. This is a brand new project, nothing fancy. Um, this can only be done on Wirecast 13 and newer. Um, 12 and older, I believe, do not support the real-time HTML updates. So we're going to go to a new layer and hit the plus sign. We're going to go to, uh, I think it's network, and then new web page. You'll see this pop up. And right here underneath the address box, we're going to cop. We're going to paste what we copied earlier. And you can make it any width and height that you want. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 so I have a little bit of a playroom. So now I can move it wherever I want. I want to make it a little bit smaller. And there you have it. Now you have a live overlay directly into Wirecast. This is a little bit of a newer integration compared to our older one, Live Sport CG. It's a lot nicer. Um, so if you have any more questions, you can always contact us at support at sportscast.net.